Have you ever bought a monitor that looked so vibrant in the store, but then when you set it up at home, everything just looked washed out? Or when you're watching a movie, you're seeing dark gray instead of deep blacks. Like all the colors are just inaccurate. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to calibrate your monitor the right way and get the best color out of it. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Lars of Kilobit Nomad bringing you tech tips and reviews. So there are two ways of calibrating your monitor. First is through a site called the Lagum LCD calibration test, if I'm not mistaken. Link in the description down below. So this site gives you a series of steps on how to calibrate your monitor, but it's mostly through your eye test and they're not the most accurate way. The second one is what I'm gonna show you, which is through a colorometer. So a colorometer is a calibration equipment that accurately detects the color levels of your display instead of just calibrating it through your eyes. Now, just a heads up, a colorometer is not cheap. I bought mine used through eBay for over $100 which I think is a good investment if you want to accurately get the best color out of your monitor. Especially when you're watching HDR movies, 4K movies, or photo and video editing, then a colorometer is a necessity to get the most accurate color. So I'm gonna set up the colorometer and fast forward to it, but before that, I'll briefly show you how the Lagum test site works. So this is the Lago monitor calibration site. It will give you a bunch of instructions or a series of steps on how to calibrate it. You can download the images here as well. But as for my experience, the most important that you're going to be doing is the black level. What this does is you want to make sure you want to set up from your monitor the brightness level here. The brightness level is not based on how bright the monitor will be, but instead actually it's based on how black or how deep the blacks can be for your monitor. So that's why these boxes right here, no matter how dark it is, you will always want to make it a little bit visible, even to number one. It's hard to see, but it's there's a subtle here. You can barely see the black there, but it's there. Now, as far as how much black level you can go or brightness level you can go down, it will be based on your ceiling light or your ambience light. As for your ceiling light or your ambience light, I recommend checking how much luminance it outputs. Um, I currently have 2200 lumens on my ceiling light. So based on that, I will know how much black level in nits that I can set to. I'll show it to you on the screen on a good estimation on where you can get the deepest black without getting too dark, as well as not getting the backlight bleed on your monitor. Now, next you would generally calibrate is the contrast, but most of the time I leave this at the default settings since the default settings is basically at the optimal level already. Um, especially with the eye test, it's really hard to differentiate the white levels, you know, past the default settings from the uh, manufacturer. First things first, before we start the color calibration with a colorometer, we need to download this software. It's an open source software. It's called Display Cal. Let me just download this one. Now, uh, depending on your OS or operating system, I'm currently using the Mac OS right now. So we're gonna download this one. This is the installer package. Once that's downloaded, then you save that. I already installed this one. So I'm just showing you the steps. Once that, let me just open mine. So it's gonna take like a second or two. If you hear that sound, that means it's loading up the display cal. Okay, so this is the app. Before you can actually start, there's also another um, app or plugin that you will need for display cal, which is the this one, Argyle CMS, or if I'm not mistaken on how to read this, but it should be this. Um, when you try to start this, it will actually, there will be a pop-up that will say to install the Argyle color management system. This is basically the one that we'll need, the dis display cal and then this. You're just gonna choose which display you will need. I currently have a dual uh, monitor, so we will check this. It's for this display right here. Then after that, you select 
these are my profile already. So I would suggest you just using the default right now and then the gamma will be set to 2.2. And then you come here, make sure that the gamma is 2.2. Uh, white point, that's where like the color balancing of your white level and stuff. You wanna keep that uh, as measured because we will be using the color calibrator uh, to set the white point. So after that, if you're good to go, you click on calibrate and profile. Now I have this on full screen. Uh, normally it's like a bit smaller, but I like to put it um, in full screen. So if you see this one, this target, that's where you wanna target the, uh, what do you call this? The colorometer rather. So now let's click on start measurement and this, this window right here should show and there's right now it's trying to calibrate uh the colorometer to sync let's give it like a second or two there we go now we can click on start measuring or start measurement rather so right now it's checking the rgb levels red green and blue as well as the white balance so as you can see here, it's clicking right now because it's always refreshing if what you're doing. I'm going to show you. So basically this is based on your uh, OSD settings from your monitor. I will show you, I'll, I'll put a hand here. So for the brightness, the brightness level is this one here. So based on my lumens, I have around 2200 lumens. So it should be around 120 to 130 nits of brightness that's related to your brightness and contrast i currently set it up on 125 i might put it on 130 but i have some um sometimes it's a bit too bright and i'm on my computer all day so i'm getting eye strain so i'm i set it on 125. so basically you want to set this up if you move the brightness up then you will see the net goes up the brightness goes up now it's uh the current is 140 so i want to put let's put that back up to i think it was on 26 yes on 26 so generally you want to target these pointers here as close as possible now for the color for the rgb levels you also want to set it on custom and you want to set like for this let's try to make this as close as possible the red is a bit over so let me let's put that back a little bit now everything is set as you can see it may not be a hundred percent that it will be like locked in but you want to be as close as possible 99 percent possible so there we go let's stop the measurement and then we'll continue with the calibration if you're all uh set here or you're satisfied with the measurements or the levels then click on continue onto calibration and from there it's going to start the process now the process is going to take depending on on how complicated you set it on your settings it will take from 15 to i've had two hours when i try to set the hdr levels but for default settings it should be around 15 to 30 minutes all right so now with the power of video editing we're all done quickly so you will see this uh, pop up right here uh, it says calibration and profile complete now do you want to install this one sure let's you can press it here type in your password and then now it's been activated just to make sure if you want to do um, double check on that you can go to settings um, display and for this monitor okay I have two monitors so it should be for this monitor and you can choose it from here. This is the, the date because um, this is the profile name that we set, uh, the default profile name. You can always change that, but just so you know, just to give you a heads up, this is the date. I have quite a few here because I've been testing this out or have been doing a lot. All right, so if you've been following until up to this point, I will be giving you a bonus tip on this. Um, actually, I'm gonna put this link down below if you wanna use this profile. This is based on my LG 27UL6 50 monitor and with my ceiling light 2200 lumens so I set this on 125 nits of brightness and so 
if you want to skip all those and you have the same monitor you can use this profile although you can i mean you, you can still use this with other uh monitor but it may not be accurate so if you really want to use this one i'll put the link down below so you can download it because i'm feeling generous actually no i'm always generous i'm just kidding <laughs> So that's how to get the best color out of your display. If you want to use the ICC profile that I just made, I'll put the link down in the description below. And if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button as well as subscribe if you haven't yet. Also hit the notification button so you'll see more videos. And that's all for now. This is Lars of Kilobit Nomad bringing you tech tips and reviews. See you in the next video.